A breaking news update right now at 10. An absolutely incredible story of survival. Investigators call it a miracle. A man found six days after driving off I-94 in northwest Indiana, crashing into the rocks and water below. It looked like he was really fighting to be there, to, to stay around. He didn't want to go. We were put there for a reason. Meet the fishermen who stumbled upon the crash scene and called 911. They say they were just in the right place at the right time. That's crazy. Plus, the huge effort from rescuers to get the driver safely to the hospital. I don't believe that he would have made it through, through, the, through the night tonight. And how much worse this all could have been in the cold and snow. We start here at 10 with a breaking news update on a story we have been following all evening. Just a remarkable rescue after a man drove off a northwest Indiana highway nearly a week ago, found alive today by two fishermen. This happened on I-94 near Portage, and that's where we find our Maribel Gonzalez live tonight. Maribel, everyone involved is calling this a miracle. Yes, and that's because almost everything about this rescue is unbelievable. A car officials say missed a guardrail by only a short distance, and then rolls underneath a bridge in a spot that's difficult to see even from above. It lands just steps away from the creek, trapping a man inside for days. Luckily, two men who didn't have plans to go out today happened to come across it. Dramatic video shows the rescue of a man trapped inside his crash car under a bridge at the Interstate 94 in Portage, Indiana. A rescue that almost didn't happen. Quite frankly, it's, it's a miracle that he's alive. A miracle because many things had to occur for Nivardo de la Torre and his father-in-law, Mario Garcia, to come across the mangled car. They're the ones who took these videos. Nobody normally fishes about this time, but we decided to go anyways. It wasn't planned. You know, we were just out there scouting and we came up again, you know, to this this uh, situation. And the two decided last minute to go scouting for fishing spots. It was the first time Mario had been to this specific location. It was their last stop of the day. It's important to point out this was at 345. The yeah. sun sets at 430, 445. Yeah. So they had a half hour window. Yeah. It's very fortunate. And they almost missed the car, too. I don't see any way somebody could have seen him. It, it was just a, a, a very fortunate that we've seen through the cracks of the woods the shiny of the of the wreck and curiosity that took us over there. Mario approached the car. To his surprise, someone was in there. And an even bigger shock. He was alive and he was very happy to see us. Like he was really like, I've never seen a relief like that. The two men called for help and got there quickly, but the rescue took a while. And they had a very difficult time getting down uh, into the creek area um, with her equipment to uh, basically uh, to cut him out and remove him from the vehicle. The man who officials say is in his 20s was airlifted to South Bend Memorial Hospital where he's fighting for his life. It's it's cold tonight and uh, I don't believe that he would have made it through through the, through the night tonight. Um, that's my personal opinion. He said to me that, that uh, he's been there for a long time, that he had almost lost all hope because nobody was there. And he, one more day and something could have been very different here. Now, investigators are still trying to figure out what led up to this crash. They have not yet ID'd the man. They say they have no reports of the accident or a missing person. They do tell us he does have life-threatening injuries. Now, as far as the two good Samaritans, when I asked, they said they prefer not to be called heroes. They say they were just there at the right place and at the right time. Reporting live in Portage, Indiana, Maribel Gonzalez, CBS 2 News. There's no question about that. What a story. Maribel, thank you. CBS 2 Chief Meteorologist Alvaro Ramon is here now to help continue our team coverage looking at the weather conditions this week since that truck crashed. And you have to think if it had been colder or snowier, Albert, this could have turned out much differently like it was last year. Absolutely. So let's take a look at temperatures from a weather station just off to the west of where this crash happened. And other than last Wednesday morning when we had a temperature of 30 degrees, every other temperature since then has been above freezing by 30 degrees above normal, including on Monday morning when we were at 50 there, 59 yesterday afternoon, and even today, temperatures well above average. The rain was there last Friday and, of course, yesterday, adding up to just under an inch. So you think not just the cold, not just the snow, but the rain would have been been a little bit heavier. There could have been a bit of a flash flood threat as well. Thankfully, that didn't happen, Joe. 
All right, Albert, thanks very much. Our coverage continues tomorrow morning as well as on our CBS Chicago stream. You can see the entire interview with the Good Samaritans and Indiana State Troopers on our website as well.